What's up everybody? It's the Comic Sense of Buster coming at you with another video. And in this video, wow. I mean, you gotta anticipate the conspiracies are gonna come from everywhere concerning the Trump assassination attempt, okay? One of the craziest ones I heard was how Trump set it up and that it was all a hoax. Well, explain that to the people's family who died. And explain to me how Trump trusted a 20-year-old snot-nosed kid to climb up on top of a building and shoot at him from 400 feet and nick his ear. But try just to nick my ear now, uh, Thomas. We don't want you to shoot me in the head. Bullshit. It went down the way it went down. And there are conspiracies that are out there, people, that are pretty valid. One of them blows me away. And I know that it's got to be true because of the source. And the source is Dan Bongino. If you don't know who Dan Bongino is, he was a, a spokesperson on Fox. He might still do it. I don't know. I don't watch Fox no more. But he was a Secret Service agent, and he gives all the updates for Secret Service and the President and stuff like that. Listen to what he said about the Secret Service. Listen to what he said about the Secret Service at the Trump rally. They weren't even real Secret Service people. Check it out. I have some breaking news about this uh, catastrophe that happened this weekend because that's what it was. Uh, number one I have from sources are that very few people who were at that event, who were post standers, who were, were security personnel, very few were actual Secret Service agents. This is just a really stunning development. I want you to think about what I just said. The guy with probably the highest threat level on planet Earth, up there with the Pope, uh, Obama, people with incredible name ID, everybody's going to recognize who have big security footprints. We were out there with very, very few Secret Service post standards. Many of them, what we used to call back in the day, OTAs, other treasury agents, they wound up being outsourced security personnel from other agencies. Not that these aren't good people, but folks, are we serious? We don't have Secret Service agents protecting the Secret Services, probably at this point most, uh, most threatened protectee. That is absolutely insane. I'm not sure you heard that. I said it anywhere else. I, I, I think I spoke about it a little bit on Jesse's show last night. But here's another thing I'm hearing from sources. That this subject, they, heard, they had been monitoring him since he came in around that, that external perimeter area. This subject who was the shooter. They lost track of him, apparently. And he was hiding in a building about 300 yards away. Folks, if they had this subject um, in their... Uh, on their, say, their radar, that you had a potential threat. I think the questions right now are fairly obvious. Why was President Trump even on stage at that point? He should have not been on stage. It's ridiculous. I mean, if you know you're in a situation with a potential threat out there, just delay the event for a little bit. I mean, listen, we've got to talk candidly about this stuff. Again, I don't want to hear about Monday morning quarterbacking anything. This isn't a freaking football game, man. This is the life of the president of the United States. This isn't a joke. I saw some guy online talking about how, oh, people make mistakes. We don't get to make mistakes. What are you talking about make mistakes? This is the Secret Service. There's no opportunity for mistakes. Do you remember what the IRA said, the Irish Republican Army, when they said with the uh, 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 Margaret Thatcher when they missed her with the bomb plot they said you guys got to be lucky every day we only have to be lucky once we don't have the opportunity to make mistakes before then he was finally noticed and people were flagging the police around the area saying yo you got a dude up on the roof with a rifle and no one intervened and only after he took got the shots then they returned fire where was the Secret Service? Where was the Secret Service? All right? Because this ain't them. Look at these women right here. There's three women surrounding Donald Trump who are at least a foot to foot and a half shorter than him. How in the hell are they supposed to protect and cover him to keep him safe from gunfire? Next is... Like, give me door points out right here. This woman right here is going to have problems. She can't even put her pistol in its holster. This woman right here is going to be running back and forth like she's lost her mind. She don't know what to do. Check out the video. So this is, she can't even holster her gun. 
This so put the eyes on this lady. There's a look at a couple of ladies. She can't even like she can't, Sandra she can't even hol holster her gun. And they they don't even know what to they don't look like they know what to do. Make sure you put your glasses on. You see her put the, <laughs> They don't even look like they know what to she couldn't even holster her gun. 